All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Okay, so I know that today's video that you're watching right now was supposed to be five reasons to buy a 240SX, but I haven't had time to sit down and do that video. Something else came up and we have to do Brit's rear motor mount after that uh, mission drag day. It got pretty bad. We're gonna be doing that today. Uh, we bought it, I don't know, a couple days ago and it finally shipped. We got it. I'm sorry it's so dark. We have a big light out there, but it's too bright. Uh, so I get super overexposed, but yeah, so we're gonna be doing that today It's gonna be a little dark, but it's something that's absolutely necessary to do as well And then Tuesday's video will be why not to buy a 240 SX most likely we may have something else planned this weekend I don't know yet. So yeah, we're just gonna jump onto the car and uh, Start doing this should be pretty easy shouldn't take too long honestly So yeah, just gotta jack the car up get it on jack stands and then jack the motor up a little bit And then all we gotta do is unbolt and bolt back in the motor mount so yeah let's get right to it okay so the rear motor mount is right back here it's this guy so it's pretty easy you just need a 19 18 and a 17 so first we're just going to loosen everything and then we're gonna have to jack up the transmission and then should be good to go so I think this is an 18 uh, might be a 17 it's a 17 so first off we're just gonna Grab this bad boy. I'm just using my torque wrench like a breaker bar, basically. We're gonna start with something else instead. Over 18s, oh, oh. I didn't bring an extension with me, and I think we're gonna... <laughs> okay, just start jacking it up. Is that gonna be flat, like, wide enough? Keep going. Keep going. Okay, just a little bit more. Stop. Okay, so got the main motor mount bolt out. Now, there's this weird kind of bracket that I'll show you. Brit, thank you. Oh, my legs aren't in the way. This bracket is what connects to the motor mount, which connects to the subframe. Sorry, it's probably very disorientated me just doing this. But uh, yeah, so I ended this bolt. I was having troubles with it, but it came out. I just loosen this one. Now I gotta loosen these two off. The motor is supported by a block of wood and the jack. You put this on so it doesn't damage the aluminum block. Well, it's a transmission, actually. <laughs> but yeah. So yeah, I just gotta loosen these two off and then we'll be good to go. Okay, so, let's do that. Oh, hot, 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 hot. So yeah, uh, okay. this is the motor mount, yeah. So as you can tell, this was very shot because that is not supposed to fall out. Um, that is not supposed to be ripped. <laughs> oh my God. And uh, there's supposed to be a bushing in that. Oh. Usually you have to burn these out, like to get them out, I'm pretty sure. Um, yep, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I'm gonna come out there, like out from under the car, and then we'll continue with this, and I'll show you what we're replacing it with, and why we chose the one we did. Okay, so we need to separate the motor mount from the transmission adapter, so we're just gonna grab this guy, throw it on here, nice and tight. We're gonna see if we can just gun it off, because that is uh Yeah, that's not gonna work. Huh. I should have loosened it in the car. Some thinkers here. And you have to use our, our big pink thinker things that are in the side of our in the side and the top of our head. Inside of our head? What? Inside? Just the top of our head? Huh. I'll check my bumper. <laughs> Don't push down on the car. It's going. Yeah, it's yeah, just it's turning the other side. Use your thinker here. Travis lops and ways. What? The Travis lops and ways. <laughs> Brick man. Oh, there we go. Oh. Brick, yes. Don't worry, guys, I'm a professional. Oh, 
like how someone put Loctite on this. That makes sense. Yeah, there's Loctite in there. Why would you put Loctite on a already locking nut? So what is this? That is a motor mount. No, oh, like is this OEM or something? Yeah, I think so. I don't know. Mazda people, tell me in the comments, please. Is that a OEM motor mount? Probably. It looks like it. I don't see any markings from another company, but it also looks kind of fancy. Okay, so old motor mount. Motor mount. Motor mount. Old motor mount. <laughs> Okay, so old motor mount was absolutely destroyed. Okay, so we're replacing this piece of garbage with this bad boy. So this is a Torque Solutions rear motor mount um, polyurethane. So like this is really like malleable rubber, I think it's called. Or I think that's the, like the word. And then this is like solid almost. Not quite solid because it's not all metal. But yeah, so this goes in, well, it actually goes this way. Yeah, so you can see it says Torque Solutions, bro. But yeah, so it's a really nice mount, really nicely machined. So yeah, this is the new one, and it needs to go on to this bad boy. That's gonna go this way, I'm assuming. And this goes this way, and I'm not assuming that, I know that. And it even came with a new bolt, so just get it. You don't want it fully tight, because apparently it's easier to put in like this. So yeah, that's it. Now we just gotta put it back in. This is going to be a very short video if this is this easy. You're very white right now. Yeah, it'll fix it on the computer somehow. I don't know. <laughs> because this isn't tight, it's super easy. So we just slip this in like this. And then it says to put this bolt in. So we're using the old one, which I'm a little not happy with. Um, if I was Torque Solutions, the only thing I would change would be supply one of these bolts as well. Um, it's the, what goes through the motor mount because this is a little crusty. Uh, I wish I had some anti-seize, but unfortunately I do not. So now it's just a game of find the hole. We're not going to quite tighten that all the way, but it is holding it now, which is nice. And then we're gonna grab these three. We're gonna just slip this guy into place. Hopefully it lines up again. If it didn't, I would be thoroughly unimpressed. Also, um, if I could recommend one different thing I would do would be let the car cool down more. Because the oil pan is very hot and I keep burning my arm on it. So yeah, I would fully let the uh, oil pan or the oil at least cool down a bit more because like this is hot to the touch at least. So I've already hand tightened these so that means they're going in the threads which means I can just nicely thread them in a bit. And then I'm gonna grab the torque wrench. I need my cellular device and we're gonna torque these properly. Okay so the first thing we're gonna do is torque the transmission bolt block whoa 19 mils they're torquing to 80 foot pounds that's a lot so because i love brit and i don't want to kill her i'm actually torquing stuff down so yeah like the thing said we're gonna torque these first there's one two and three so that's all three torque there and then i think it said to torque the other one to 70. we're gonna torque the farthest back one that actually secures the subframe, we're going to torque that to 65. Okay, 65. Now, I believe this one is 25. Yeah. That sounded like I was doing a lot, but my gun is almost dead, so that's why it was chugging. Ooga dugging. Ooga dug, ooga dug, ooga dug. So much. Oh, I should probably tighten or make this 25 foot pounds. Rookie mistake. Who are you calling a rookie? Just kidding. I'm fully a rookie mechanic. I'm mechanic. See, that's the difference. I'm a mech. I'm a. I'm a mechanic. Someone who works on cars all day is a mechanic. Oh. That's it. All right. Done. Woo! Okay, so we're under here again, and so this is the new motor mount. 
it says Torx Solutions, looks nice. Fits very good. Um, like I said, the only complaint I would change would be replace this bolt as well because you're already replacing this one. Might as well do this one as well. Um, all of this is really good. Also, I wish I knew there was a bushing in here because that's something you should probably replace, but it would also require a press unless you just buy a new adapter, which I don't know is which is easier or cheaper or anything like that, but just so you guys know, you could also replace this to replace this bushing or just get a new bushing for this. Don't know how effective that will be, but hopefully not too bad and hopefully that's not much to do with our issue. We are going to drop this thing down onto the ground and then we're gonna go take it for a little spin. Now that it is all done, um, I don't know if I put a sound clip in of what it sounded like before, so if I didn't, here it is now. So yeah, we're gonna take it for a ride and make sure that that sound is gone, hopefully, most likely. We'll see. So yeah, we're gonna go for a drive. I don't really feel any vibration, to be honest. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, we forgot to explain why we want to torque switch. Okay, we'll hop in the car, let's go for a drive. Feels faster! Look at that. Oh yeah. It's so, so smooth, it's never been this smooth. That's so satisfying. So, uh, obviously you heard the sound clip, it was like every time I let off and then went back on, it was like, clunk, clunk, clunk. Now it's like let off, back on. It's actually like feels really good. And like the vibration is like so minimal. Oh, this is actually, I don't even think there really is a vibration. It's just K. Okay. So, another reason that we went with Torque Solutions is because most of the other mounts, um, they tend to vibrate the car a lot at idle and like in the 2000-ish range, give or take. But like, uh, st uh, the, eh, a new friend named Daniel from BC Mazda 3 um, told us to go with the, oh, it's so nice, Torque Solution, uh, the Torque Solutions mount, rear mount. And because uh, he, cause he runs it and it's not, he said that, sorry, I'm like so in shock that this worked so well. Um, he said that he runs it and it has little to no vibration. And I fully agree, I feel no vibration whatsoever. And it feels absolutely amazing. Um, I'm definitely shocked because I thought it would be worse. We're gonna test it. We're gonna try and do a speed pull. This also was probably one of the main reasons that the speed ran so slow at mission because with the clunk you lose that second of power. So we're gonna do a little pulley pull right here. Radar detector's not going off, so let's see. It picks up way faster now. Holy crap, and I can actually hard shift without it being like Basically. Wow, that's so good. And it's like let off, downshift. There's still a little from the passenger motor mount and the transmission mount. So once we do those, this thing is gonna be like perfect, yeah. But like that's not even that bad. Like that's just like, you know. It's so minimal. Oh, so much better than go, go, go. every time we started off. Wow, that's so much better. Okay, well, I think we're just gonna end the video here then, in the car. So yeah, on Friday we'll be probably, or Friday is tomorrow. On Tuesday, we'll most likely be the five reasons not to buy it, or to buy a 240SX. And, uh, yeah, I don't know what a Friday next week will be. We'll figure something out. We're just gonna leave you off here. As for usual, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. Maybe go check out some videos, share some videos, get your friends into it. It'll be great, it'll be a good time. Yeah, that's all for me. We'll see you in the next one, peace.